it's the Migo era coming to an end. Like, is they, is it starting to go downhill? And we'll get right to it, man. Like, I feel like, in a way, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you where they, where they messed up at, right? The first mistake that the Migos messed up at, where it started turning left, was they stopped, they stopped doing what they, they stopped doing what they did that made them hot when they came in the game. They stopped dropping mixtapes. Back to back, tearing the streets up with the mixtapes. You got to keep feeding the streets with the mixtapes. They keep, they should have kept the streets on lock campaign going. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if they could have kept it going with Rich the Kid because of, uh, because of um, label issues. But they, or they should have picked somebody else. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's where they fucked up at the first. That, that was the first mistake. The second mistake is, is they start getting superstar money, right? Around, around the town, I'm going to say around streets on lot three. When they start getting superstar money, what Quavo, especially Quavo and, and Offset, right? What they should have done, what they didn't do, was embrace more artists under their wing. You see what I'm saying? Like, Black Youngster got a little amigo, even though he under um CMG. Like that right there. Like, keep, they, they wasn't embracing artists. Not jumping on the song with a nigga. I'm talking about, like, really embrace some, give him some money, give him 100,000, 50,000, pipe him up, make your own little. Your little, make your own little crew, right? They never did that. They always kept it QC the label. Quavo and Offset and Takeoff never branched off and made their own little record label, their own look, their own little group. You see what I'm saying? And and, and did it to the effect that 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 you know what I'm saying? Everybody can recognize. Yeah, they do got uh your boy that um rap like I think Takeoff brother. They do got him. I forgot his name. I think his name Migo or something too. But that, that ain't enough. Like that wasn't nah. Y'all should have wrote some songs or, or put them on some songs or something. Nah, they want you need somebody that got they got the look, they got the the rep. You see what I'm saying? Like y'all supposed to got 42 dub somebody like that. Y'all supposed to. You see what I'm saying? Like y'all 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 gotta start embracing artists. They want to be y'all want to be head honcho, the face of the yeah. yeah you you got to step back. Your time then came and you know what I'm saying. Now it's finna it's, it's starting to exit the door. You know, some you know, as as fans like that, the, 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 that 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 flow right there is going out the door. It's more harmonizing now. It's more like NBA young boy flow, little baby flow. That I'm you know, you think I am, and then with some hard ass against their bars. You see what I'm saying? That that like the little baby way, the, the future way, all that that way. But that 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 all that fast. The, 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 that right there, that's going out the window. A lot, cause a lot of niggas burnt that flow out. They burnt that flow out. You see what I'm saying? Um, cause, and it's a little bit more harder to do it like how Lil Baby and NBA Youngboy do it. It's, it's way more easier to, to keep that pattern. That it's easier. That's an easy. That's an easy pattern to follow. But it's kind of hard to harmonize. To do harmonize and stuff, you got to know how to. Them to know how to not you gotta know you gotta have a voice for it and you gotta know how to do it like that 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 like you gotta the ad lib like the, how to um harmonize on ad libs like Quavo know how to do it which it kind of sound like Travis Scott but a year uh, he be doing it but I'm gonna make another video who I think like they like as solo artists who would who would last the longest who would who would have a who would still stand strong I'm gonna do another video that I ain't gonna really mix that video because that's a whole another long video right but back to their mistakes another mistake the Migos did they stopped dropping mixtapes like that right the second mistake they did was they started wanting to do solo you see what I'm saying they started wanting to do solo solo and they didn't come in the game like that you see what I'm saying now like G-Unit right G-Unit can come. They, they how they came in. See, they started with the mixtape. Where they they can they really formed the mixtape era, right? They are they was solo off the rip. Like Banks already had his solo joints. Buck had his solo. Yeah, yo had his solo. So they when they came in the door, people already knew. As they knew Fifty, they knew G Unit. See, y'all y'all came as a group together. So that all that 
all that solo shit, that they ain't really the move. Cause Quavo, no, nobody want to hear Quavo a, a, a solo Quavo. Cause an artist like Quavo, Quavo is just good. Like y'all perfect for a group. Quavo good for the hook, and then Offset and Takeout good for the verses. So if you break it up in solo, it ain't. And you just talking about an album, especially when it comes to people like Takeoff. He, he like he got the he got the verse, but he ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like the hooks, ah. Uh, like they have like 15 songs, 12 songs, uh. Offset, Offset probably do all right, you know what I'm saying? We we'll see what Takeoff, Takeoff gonna need. We we'll see Quavo and Takeoff would need features. All of them would need uh, features on their songs. Like you want like hearing three verses from Takeoff or two verses from Takeoff? Nah, like all that solo, that solo tip, man, that wasn't the move. Quavo can, Quavo would probably be the best at that because you know, he know how to harmonize. He, he'll probably team up somebody like. But then again, it'd be it'd be flooded with features. Like, could you picture? Could y'all picture a mixtape? I mean, um, an album solo from any of the three of them niggas, and it's like no features on it. Like maybe one or two features. It's, it's gonna have to have. It's gonna be like a DJ Khaled album. It's gonna have a gang of features on it. And, and if it don't, the songs ain't gonna be all late. You're like, ah, I don't even like how that. You see what I'm saying? Like they. They fucked up. They should have kept it with Zaytoven, keep that real trap, that bendo music. That's what be that's what be all that switching up, that superstar music. Like you getting too much money now. Nah, they ain't they ain't what we they ain't why we made y'all them niggas like that. You see what I'm saying? You need to get back to that goddamn back to that that bando shit. Like that real bando music. That's what you need to get back to. You need to get back to that bando. You need to get team up with Zay, get Southside and all them whoever you need to get. And, and get back and get back in the trenches, man, and get back to that trap shit and flood it, like flood the mixtape. Because right now, at the label, at QC, the label, y'all not the top priority no more. And you got to understand business. That's business. It ain't got nothing to do with it. if I like you, I don't fuck with you like that no more. It's just understanding business. Right now, the first priority is is is, is, is city girls and little baby, little baby first, city girls. Y'all like, and then another, the third mistake they did, just the third one. Getting in relationships That fucked up the You see what I'm saying Like listen, listen to me now Quavo and, 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 and Offset Getting into relationships That make them That make the group Separate even more And now you gotta Now you that The other When you used to have free time And when you were just Fucking with hoes and shit Y'all be at the studio Now It's like I'm gonna spend time With Cardi B Cause she a superstar Why would Offset be In the studio with you When he can So Offset be out Long as Cardi B Stay hot And they stay together I've said I always had that backbone, so she can always save him, and he can help her with verses, and you know what I'm saying. So that that be all right. Quavo don't have an artist as a girl, so Quavo will still have to put all the effort in by himself. That him getting that girl and falling in love and shit like that, that hurt the group. Take off, don't got no girl, or be, be quiet and shit, don't really talk. That that hurt the group. He ain't really active with the fans. He ain't really active with the people. That hurt the group. You see what I'm saying? And then, when, when, yeah, hear me out now, hear me out now. Once you start getting money, the flow, like with your topics of your flow is different. Like it ain't, it ain't what people kind of relate to. It's kind of like, you don't put your all into it because now you're getting the money. You see what I'm saying? Now, so you don't put your all into it no more. It don't sound raw. That's why you hear everybody like, I like that old Boosie. I like that old Gucci. I like that old Jeezy. You see what I'm saying? I like that old future when he was, yeah, when he was, uh, goddamn, uh, the true story type. That's why they do that because once they get the money, them niggas start, they get lazy, they, they topic start being too, too uppity for the people. You see what I'm saying? And they ain't how you came in the door. See, if you come in the door like that, it's all good. Like Drake, if you come in the door like that, it's all good. That's expected. Understand that. So, could a situation be saved? Like, you know, like, um, and then another thing with the QC situation, right? They lied to us. They said they ain't signed no deal. They said they ain't, they still got fucked. You understand? see how them rappers be lying? You see how these rappers be lying? The nigg the, the, the niggas came in the game. We ain't signed no deal. We ain't, we been out of our own money. Now, y'all niggas ain't had y'all own lawyers. 
These niggas be acting like they so smart and they got all this trap money, but these niggas can't even get their own lawyers. They got to use their lawyers because they don't want to pay the 30, 40, 50,000. You're going you gonna to need the fucking lawyers to read they got their contract because it's who you are and what you're going to do and all that. You don't want to pay them 10, 20 grand. So it make me believe more when Gucci said when he made them, them niggas had picked jury on. Them niggas couldn't even bring their own lawyers. You see what I'm saying? You got to compare niggas to that and then you got to compare to how Master P came. When Master P came in the game, he ain't, like he said, I always remember what Master P said. He said, if them niggas really sold that shit they saying in them songs, why they signing the deal? I ain't never do it. So you got to respect that. You got to respect niggas like Dolph. Them niggas ain't never, this is how you know them niggas really living they, like what they, what they saying when they talk about the money tip, not the, the, the criminal shit. The, the, I mean, like the slaying iron and killing shit. I'm talking about like the getting money shit, what he was doing in the streets, getting money. You could tell by the niggas that don't sign no deal. You could tell by when they come in what they what they can show them what they got. Understand that, right? Um. So with 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 with, with the QC situation, after with P, I, it's, it's just business. They signed the contract. You never, you never, no matter what you're doing, like you never use whatever who you, whoever you're doing business with. You never use their lawyers. You never do that. Now I can't say. That was the, wor the worst thing they did in their life by signing that contract because obviously it's changed their life. The world know who they is. It changed their family life. And they, and you know what I'm saying? They always going to get money forever, right? But they signed one of the, They signed a deal worse than the 360. They don't have a release date. So long as a label front them more, as long as a, uh, a label give them distribution, they renew, it's their contract renewed. They don't have an out date. So they can never, uh, so as uh, long as. So if Pete don't or a coach don't release them, they stuck forever. Why would you? Why would? Why would they sell them out the contract when they can get? They still they can get all this money off. You know how much money Diddy making off of Mace and Biggie Smalls and how much money he made out Jada. And that's why he kept they publishing and kept they masters. They're bringing a lot of money. You know how much money Gucci was making off Walker while Gucci was locked up in prison. He was making thirty thousand a month just off Walker. You see what I'm saying? So you think these niggas gonna? They ain't gonna let you go. If, if they give you a price to get out, they are gonna give you enough because they know what the kind of they cutting your check, so they kind of know what type of money you got, right? So they are gonna set the bar so high that it's gonna break. It's gonna broke you. It's gonna break you. So they they know like I know he probably got about two or three M. They say, I right, give me three M's, then you can get out. Give me four M's, you can get out. Type. You know that's gonna key your goddamn pockets. Un understand that. And they still not gonna do it right off the rip. Only time they'll do it is when they know they feel like you ain't a superstar. Then they'll say your your contract. But they don't feel like that you was gonna go. So like with Birdman sold Money Man his contract back. Cause he probably feel like, you know, Money Man probably in the streets or getting the money, getting a lot of money another way. He ain't gonna put his all into the music. So he like, eh, this nigga ain't gonna he ain't gonna put it all with he ain't gonna put all he ain't gonna put all into he's not gonna put his all into the music. Where he have a hit that take him off, take him off through the roof. That 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 that's worth him keeping on the label. He might like, this guy, just give me eight hundred thousand. You, you can get the fuck on, type. Or like with Gotti, when Gotti went to cash money, the same thing. You see what I'm saying? Like, is like at, at that time he probably ain't like Gotti ain't gone. He ain't see the. He probably ain't see the. He seen the future, but niggas, this one Gotti probably was still in the streets heavy. So, yeah, man. He, he sold this shit back to him For way more than what he signed You see what I'm saying But that's how this shit go though man You gotta pay attention to this shit like that dog um, These niggas man they, they, You know these niggas You know Wearing fake designer Wearing all that They was capping Fake until they make it They made it though They made it look good it, You couldn't You didn't know it you didn't know it till later. You didn't know it as they was doing it. So, you know what I'm saying? It worked. You see what I'm saying? Um, you got to understand, Lil Baby is related to Coach P, too. So, not only is he the top, he the hottest thing out right now. Well, I, ain't, I can't say the hottest because you still got 6 9 you still got Drake, you still got the Baby, you still got a lot of motherfuckers, you still got Cardi, Megan. But he wanted the top. He in the top. He in the top five or top three. You see what I'm saying? So you got that, and we related, and you just one person. So it, it's not like you gotta come up with this huge ass number or this. Or this or the shit gotta. 
it's, it's, it's less chaos. Like it's, you ain't got to slice the pie up three different ways, and on, a, a lot of a lot of shit playing in it. Then you got, and then you want, you know, they're gonna put City Girls second because they got, they want to have their foot in the door as far as like the female rap scene. So they're not gonna, they're gonna do right by City. You know, they got a three city deal too. But then, you know, City Girls, they they don't got it all in their heads. So you know, they can get fucked over in their contracts. They not even. Like they don't come off to me as smart. Just you know what I'm saying? No, they got the look and got the voice for the music industry. That's all it is with that. But um, they gon' they want to keep their foot in the door with that in that in that in that in that, in that, in that, in that female shit. They want to keep their door. They want to keep their foot in the door in that female shit. They see that female rap finna take off, like how it was in the in the, in, the, in the nineties, in the late nineties, around that Mia X, the brat. Remy Ma, all, when all of them looked Kim Trainer, when all of them up, and then that, that 2000, you know, when all of them was all coming out at one time, they want it, it's like that, kind of like that right now. So, Cash Money got Nikki, Cardi B got her own little situation, and managed a little bit by P, you know, I think they done with that, but they definitely got City Girls. Then Megan got Megan with who she with, and then you got the other little chicks that, and they who they with, so they're gonna put them second. Y'all niggas not even like right now with the music can we do it? They can't drop no album, right? Cause that's that's label. When you're not first priority, you can't drop no album. They're gonna keep pushing your shit back. That's why a lot of artists don't understand how the music business works. So let's say you was on um uh Rockefeller, right? Right Rock, Rock Nation. You got Meek Mill, you got all these people over there. Whoever the hottest, they get to come out. It's all about quarters. You got first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. You see what I'm saying? Migos could have been in the first quarter. But the pandemic came So they You know what I'm saying Why I come out with an album You can't even run it You can't even push it like that So what they, what they should have been doing Is dropping mixtapes Get back together When last time you even see them niggas Really hanging like Every day Like really working Working just with each other Every day Them niggas be solo Doing their own thing Offset picking back ends up Or, or, or I mean Picking different type of paper up Different different spots With his girl They coming up with their own game plan You, you, you can imagine What the conversation's like With Cardi B and Offset in the bed. Under, under, understand that. And what happened was, what happened was, them niggas then got down, you know, with the current, with the coronavirus and all that, and sitting at home, came move all the lockdown shit. Them niggas saw probably started looking over their contracts, or they probably bumped into somebody else, met a, a new management, right? Met a new management. You know, meet them at restaurants everywhere. They probably be everywhere popping over. They found them somewhere. And mother got damn ready to catch up like that damn. They read it over with them, or they read their lawyer, or get their own lawyers and have it, had them read it over, and they tell them, damn, they've been taking fifty percent from y'all. They've been taking sixty percent, and y'all only be getting this. If she, if you was getting them over here, I give, you, I only have to take twenty percent. Look out, I'm gonna show you how much money you been. How long you been with them? Four years. Let me show you. Give me all like, which, give me some, of the, give me some of the numbers y'all been doing. Look, they didn't. They didn't. Over the past six years, they didn't took five million from you. Just off that, they be like, "What the fuck?" Now, let me show you. Now look. Now if you'd have been with me, look what it been. They put, put they put the numbers in the motherfucker. Like if you'd been with me, I only I want y'all 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 pay him five. Y'all only pay me a mil, one million. So you not only not only. You paid them that money. You had to give them the money that you had to give them, and you got and they taking money from you off this. Like they like what the fuck? Nah, my boy ain't doing me like that. Look, look, look right here. They, you know they break it down. Look right here. Look. Let me let me bring my other part. They bring the other part now. Read this. Tell me, and and you calculate it. And he ain't heard nothing. They tell him he ain't heard none of our conversation now. And they tell him the same thing. That's when the videos will come out. But not knowing. When they, when they, when P taking the 30, 40, 50, or 60 percent from them, that was when they wasn't nobody. That was when, that was when they wouldn't, they wouldn't get no money for a show. Maybe a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars a show, twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars a show. Back in when, whenever they came out, 2012, 11, 13, whenever the Migos came out, I think 12, 13, right? That's when they signed that deal. Not in 2020 or 2019 or 2021. You see what I'm saying? Not now. So that's how they. That's how different manager managements and record labels that play games. They make you feel like you be getting fucked. But when you sign that deal, you weren't getting 
a hundred thousand dollars a show. You ain't getting sixty thousand dollars a show. Understand that. You can't let the white man play you or the Jewish man or even the black man play you like that now. You can't let them fuck your head up like that. Uh, let me let me say it again for you. When they sign whatever percentage P taken from them that made them look making them look at them sideways, make it look, make them looking at P sideways, that when, he, when it was all good, it wasn't a problem when they weren't making no money. You gotta understand the sacrifice that Pete did, put the money he put behind in them too. They they ain't they ain't come in with no check. They lying in the raps. They didn't come in with no sack and no check. Well, if they did, why would Pete have to say I had to put all my my money and my blood, sweat, and tears on my money? Nigga, what, nigga ain't said they were Dolph. Nigga ain't ain't no label motherfucker said they were Dolph. Ain't no label motherfucker gonna say they were Yo Gotti. Ain't no label motherfucker gonna say they were Master P. Ain't no label motherfucker gonna say they were Bird Man. You see, you get my draft. You get you get it. Like, bro. Not saying he wasn't stealing, but mm, I, just, I just, it probably was just business. And that's where they at now with it. They they like, ah, oh, they ain't thinking about the old day. They thinking about, damn, he fucking me over. He should have renegotiated my contract. That's what they pissed off at. Like, I done did, I done made this man all this money. Why ain't, why my contract ain't, ain't we don't got no, no end date? Cause you know, most contracts would be like five albums, seven albums, four albums, three albums. You see what I'm saying? But there's like that they signed a fucked up deal. There's like it ain't no end date, no release date. As long as a, a company give them distribution and and, uh, and believe in them, their contract renewed. Their contract renewed. Un un understand that, like. So, the best thing the Migos can do is don't don't piss P off by by calling them out on, on, on social media. Be a man, be a gangster about it, and, and holler at them and see what, what kind of deal y'all can work out so y'all can get out the contract, if it's possible. If not, you gotta follow suit. It ain't y'all turn no more. How you think Skipper the Flipper felt? How you think Johnny Cinco felt when the Migos was running everything? How you think uh, OG, OG Maco felt? How you think, goddamn, who else was with them niggas? Uh, Dirty Dave. How you think, uh, 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 who else was with QC back then when Amigos was running shit and, they, and all them other artists had to, Richie Kid, Richie Kid had to wait his turn. You see what I'm saying? Like, how you think all them niggas felt? That's why skipping all them other niggas left. That's, now it's y'all turn. You see, the, the good thing, in y'all favor though, y'all made a brand and a big name for y'all so y'all can still get money. It just, the money ain't coming in like how it is. And you know what? That's how you know they lying about the shit they got paid, they got too. Like, it ain't paid off. This is why they went looking at the contract. Though. All the money, all them bills, all them cars that you see they got, you think that shit paid in cash? It ain't paid for in cash because it's not a smart business move. All the taxes you got, when you make all the millions of dollars, you, you got to have them tax write-offs. They, they leasing them cars because it's smart. It's dumb to pay in the cash. How is the billionaires not paying in cash and they saying you got to do it and lease it and they saying they paying in cash, they lying. If they if, if they paying all these cars in cash, why they don't keep them then? Well, they should have a hundred cars by now. If Birdman paid cash and kept all his cars since he came in the game. This nigga should have a, a thousand cars by now, right? He been winning since ninety seven. You see what I'm saying? They trading them cars in, putting wraps on them. That's why they put wraps on them and don't put paint jobs on them. So you keep the value up, and they, and they sure once the body child, the body style change, they change. I know how this shit go, man. Don't believe the hype, man. So, but the best thing Migos can do. Is, 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 is get back on that mixtape shit, man. Drop them songs that you y'all saving for the album. Put that shit on the mixtape. Heat the street up. Make the make make the fans choose y'all over y'all y'all competition, not y'all ops. It's just your competition. Oh, get with the programming and do it. And but see, y'all didn't. You know the streets say y'all didn't fell out with goddamn. It been punches thrown and strip and shit with little baby them. So you might be dead there. You see what I'm saying, baby and them. Them FPF, them 4PF niggas then probably tell P like, man, fuck them niggas. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? We keep it all wax, but nah, I ain't. You see what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't doing no music with them. Understand that. Why you think, why you think when they asked me goes about Lil Baby, when uh, Hot 97, them people from Hot 97 asked me goes about Lil Baby, they went excited. They wasn't excited. I, that's like, they, they like they asked them about Ja Rule. They had like they asked them about goddamn Chingy. You see what I'm saying? Like they asked you about your label mate. And they was like, 
but they don't know who he is. Like, it, like they just heard of him. That's how you know it's some tension between them. You see what I'm saying? So, they, what they need to do is embrace the city girls, come up with a new, get some niggas out the north, or get some niggas from somewhere else, put the bag behind them, help them out with lyrics and shit, and give them good, give them good, uh, give them, give them them good courses, Quavo. I'll say, help them out with them verses. The punchlines take off you too. And yeah, y'all step back and be bosses like y'all say y'all will be CEOs. Y'all bosses will turn to CEOs. And this shit ain't hard. Just take the money y'all getting now and stop buying cars and all that bullshit and jury. And goddamn embrace and put some money behind these niggas and embrace niggas. Go find you a 42 dub. Go find you a goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Go find you a young money bag, yo. Go find you a young black youngster. Yeah, they all around Atlanta. All that talent in Atlanta, in Georgia, in the South. Go to Chicago. Go, go pick a drill rapper up and bring them down there. And introduce them to their goddamn, that Migo lifestyle. They got them jigging finesse and shit. That's what y'all on, right? Turn up, man. If not, eventually y'all gonna get pushed to the back. Y'all in the middle right now. Eventually y'all gonna get pushed to the back. Because the flow, that Migo flow, is going out the door. Niggas ain't really, nah. You got a couple of motherfuckers still rocking with it, but it's good. You, as you see, even young boy can't even give y'all a big hit right now. As you see, that Migo, that that flow, yeah. Tell me what y'all feel, man. In them comments, man. How y'all feel about the situation? Y'all feel like the Migo era, it look like it's, it, it 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 could be coming to an end. They look era and shit, or or you feel like goddamn, they still on top. They still got damn. All they gotta do is just drop music and they and motherfuckers gonna jump on it. Like they always they gonna have another bad and bougie, another Yeah. Drop in them comments, man. Let me know how you feel, man. I got another video coming, uh what me go what me go I feel like would be the best solo. Gonna have the best career solo. And which one, you know what I'm saying? I'ma I'm am I'm a I'ma I'm I'ma tell you from offset to take to, to Quavo, which one's gonna who gonna be around for the longest type. I mean, when I mean around, I mean like names in this, their names still in the charts and all that. Understand that, man. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, man. Go.